I have very, very, very special news for us from heaven today. Glorious news. If you are going, if you are ready for the news from heaven, I want you to put your hands together for the Lord. Go to Exodus chapter number number two. Let's read from verse 18. Thank you, my father. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. And he said to him that did the wrong. Wherefore smitest thou thy fellow? And he said, who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me as thou killedest the Egyptian? And Moses feared and said, surely this thing is known. Now and when... I, I want you to begin to get very, very attentive as you listen. Be very attentive. Uh -huh. Verse 15. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. Mm -hmm. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh mm -hmm. and dwelt in the land of Midian. And mm -hmm. he sat down by a well. Mm -hmm. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. The and priest they, of Midian had seven daughters. Uh -huh. And they came and drew water mm. and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Mm -hmm. And the shepherds came and drove them away. And but the shepherds came and drove them away. Mm -hmm. But Moses stood up and helped them mm. and watered their flock. Mm -hmm. And when they came to ruin their father, mm -hmm. he said, how is it that you are come so soon today? Mm. And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds mm -hmm. and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. Mm. And he said unto his daughters, And where is he? Why is it that you have left the man? Call him that he may eat bread. Mm -hmm. And Moses was content to dwell with the men. And he gave Moses Zipporah his daughter. Mm. And she bare him a son. And he called his name Geshom, for he said, I've been a stranger in a strange land. And it came to pass in process of time. Okay, that's it. Praise the name of the Lord. I would like to congratulate you for coming to this service today. Congratulations. You are truly God's chosen vessel for this generation. And what you are going to receive today will definitely promote you from the level where you are to a much better level. Applause. 
God has uh, spoken to me to bring this word to you because your time to rise to your place of destiny is fully come. Amen. And uh, this time around, I am very confident that you will make it. Amen. Amen. We were praying here last night up to this morning and uh, God assured me that those people that are going to come today are my chosen vessels. And I have a very special destiny for them. So I am very careful today, even in my message, because I know the person that is seated and listening is not an ordinary man, is not an ordinary woman. Amen. Is God's chosen vessel. I didn't know you are this special, but the Lord told me that you are very special and that the Lord said he has a, a wonderful destiny that you might not know but from this lesson today events are going to come together uh, to bring you to that place that God has planned even before you were formed in your mother's womb to come to. There are angels that are going to be guiding you. And most importantly, he said for me to conscientize you of a helper that is coming your way. So that when he comes, when he comes, you don't miss him. So your spirit is going to be activated. You'll be able to know when he comes that this one is sent from God. Because there is no going to another level in life without a helper from God coming to help you get there. There is no moving to your God-ordained destiny without a God helper coming your way and playing his part in the fulfillment of your calling and destiny. Every one of us needs that helper. And your helper is coming. (laughs) 
Hallelujah. So where we have read, we see seven daughters who always go to water their father's flock. And it looks like these daughters would go and spend a lot of time before they come back home. And one day, a helper from God came to their place of work. And he saw what demons were doing to these daughters. How they would not allow them to water the flock as quickly as possible. And this helper by the name of Moses looking at the matter, he said, I must do something about it. So what did he do? He drove the shepherd that were a stumbling block to the work of these daughters. And after driving the shepherds, Moses went ahead and watered the flock for these seven daughters. And for the first time, they went back home early. And when the father noticed that today my daughters went out and came back early, he asked, what happened? How come today you have come back so early? And the daughter said, an Egyptian delivered us from the shepherd and watered the flock. That's the reason why he helped us. They say, an Egyptian, can you read that part? An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherd. An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherd. And also drew water enough for us uh -huh. and watered the flock. And he drew water enough for us and watered the flock. That's the reason why we came early today. That's the reason why we succeeded today. Because God sent an Egyptian and he helped us. Ah. Hey, hey. Ah. Huh. God sent an Egyptian. So they came early this day because God sent helpers. I want you to know that uh, all the time the enemy is uh, taking advantage of you, delaying you, mistreating you. God is watching. All the time that the enemy has been disadvantaging you, all the time you had sleepless nights, 
All the time that people mistreated you. God was watching. And there is a day set by God for your deliverance. And I'm so glad in my spirit because somebody's deliverance is today. The enemies that have been taking advantage of you you look for them and you will not see them again. Amen. There's going to be a supernatural acceleration to your destiny. Amen. Today, Nasi is your day. Isuvarako. Tell your neighbor, today is my my day. And, and, and the person that I'm talking to, you can feel it in your heart. There is something in your spirit that is testifying that the man of God is talking about me. You will testify. And you will testify this week. I say you will testify. Amen. And your testimony is this week. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. How did you make it early today? And they said, an Egyptian came and delivered us from the shepherds. Now, when somebody is called a shepherd, that person has got uh, an assignment of keeping sheep. He has a monitoring duty. He monitors the flock. So, these seven daughters, all their life, they seem to be having these shepherd monitoring. They seem to be monitoring them. And they knew the time when they come for the watering of the flock. Because from the father, their father's remark, you can see that the father knew that if my daughters go out watering, they are not coming back early. How come all the time they go out, they don't come early? Because there was a shepherd from the kingdom of darkness who was monitoring their business and he had to make sure that they don't prosper early. They go out and come back late. And the father came to know that is what is happening with my daughters.
each and every delay in your life. Kunonoka kose mu upenyo wako. Is a shepherd that is monitoring it. Everybody that is delayed in whatever God has called you to do. I want you to know that uh, if you are going to come out of it, you must have a way of noticing the spirits that are responsible for that delay. And I believe that I'm bringing this message to you today because I am that Egyptian that is sent by God to deliver. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have come to help you today. I might not help all of you, but there is somebody that God has sent me to today. Amen. Especially this brother of mine and this sister of mine that have been delayed for this long. Oh, yes. Something good is about to happen. But for this thing to happen, I want you to notice, to discern, to understand, to know that I am the Egyptian that God has sent to deliver you to oh, do. Yes. Oh, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Things will move. Life will be beautiful. Amen. There shall be a change in your life. I'm telling you the truth and I lie not. Things are going to move. You sit here. Things are going to move. Life will be beautiful. You will testify. Amen. The devil is not permitted to win all your life. And today he is going to lose big time. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Every delay whether it is delay in marriage whether it is delay in financial breakthroughs, whatever delay it is, today there is sufficient grace Amen. in this house to help somebody who have been delayed for a long time. Amen. A man was paralyzed for 38 years. People watched him in that situation. The waters, the angel came down to, to, to stay the waters. And for 38 years, we have come Nobody helped this man into the water. Because the principle was everyone who will first jump into the troubled waters 
Mnekuti murawo waiti uyo unotanga kusetukira mumvura dzakabvongodzwa. Was going to be made whole. Why is Rova wakakwaniswa kuporiswa zvino? So people watch this man, this lame man. Vanhu vaiona murumo uyu wakaremara for 38 years. Kwemakore makumi matatu namasere. The man was by the pool. Murume ainge ari parudzi of healing. But for 38 years, nobody helped him. Because in most cases, people don't like to help you. If you see somebody helping you, that person is sent from God. Now, I have come here today to take you away from people that have surrounded you but they are not offering any help to you. Amen. Amen. To a different group of people oh, yes. who are going to move you forward oh, yes. who are going to help you Amen. who will not watch you another day oh, yes. in the position of suffering yet they can help you I have come to shift you from such kind of a group yes, sir. Oh, yes. I I have come today with grace oh, yes. to take you from a group of people who are not offering you help Amen. to a group of people who are going to help you without you even asking for help. Who are just going to look at you Discover that you need help. Before you ask for help, they will help you. Jesus came. And was an ordained helper for this man. And when he looked at this man and knew that this man is 38 years. Waiting, waiting for a helper. He said, do you want to be made whole? And the man said, I have no man to help me when the waters are stirred. So he had no helper for 38 years. That's a long time. That's a long time. So he remained in the same position for 38 years. Because he had no helper. May God send you helpers. I receive. I receive. May God send you a man, a woman, who is going to help you. Today, receive grace I for helpers. I The daughters were helped. And they left the helper. The father, because he was wise. When the daughters told the father that an Egyptian helped us. He said, where is he? Why did you leave him? Ah. All your life, nobody ever helped you. 
How you find somebody who is willing to help you. But you leave him. He said, go look for that one. Bring him home so that he can eat bread. And they looked for the men. Moses came home. Moses and he was happy to be part of the family. Now, this delay was not only in watering the flock. Remember, there were seven daughters in one roof, living in one roof. Rangarira kutivaiva there was a spirit of delay in the home. Seven of them under the same roof. Their father's house. Which means none of them seven was married. So, which means this delay was a spirit that was troubling every one of them. something wrong in that house. If you find your firstborn still living under the same roof and yet you are seven, there is something wrong under that house. You are seven of you under the same roof. And something is wrong. Kune Chisina Kunaka. And I like it when they came home and they brought Moses home. The father gave the first daughter to Moses. <laughs> and Moses. So that curse that was troubling them was broken. May the case that is troubling your home be broken today. Amen. May the spirit of a curse that is in your home, that is affecting everybody, be broken today. Amen. Your firstborn daughter will get married and uh, all of you will follow suit. It is a new dispensation in your home. Amen. Seven of you, you, nobody has money. Money is starting to come in today. Seven of you, all of you are lodgers. Ah! Start building houses today. Amen. Seven of you, you are suffering from the same disease. May all of you be healed today. Amen. May the curse that they have held your home in ransom be broken today. Something new is happening to you. bad luck. Delay, delay. faster, faster this time around. Talking about bad luck, you remember it as history. Now things are moving fast. Somebody will quickly 
break into their promised land. Amen. I see you testifying with tears Amen. in your eyes. Because you never thought that this case will come to an end. But today, it is coming to an end. Your helper, your helper, your helper, your helper, your helper is coming. 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 You are moving upwards. You are going forward. Amen. You are making progress Amen. by the helpers that God has sent to you. The Bible talks about the man Uzziah. In the book of uh, Second Chronicles. Chapter number 26. Read from verse 3. 16 years old was Uzziah when he began to reign. And he 16 reigned. years old was Uzziah when he began to reign. Uzziah akanga ane makore kumi na matanatu pakutanga kwake kubata ushe. And he reigned 50 and 2 years in Jerusalem. Akabata ushepa Jerusalem makore makumi mashano na maviri. His mother's name was also Jecolia of Jerusalem. Sita ramaiwa kera kangariri Jecolia yawe Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. He akaita sakarura mapamiri pa Jehova. Okay. According to all that his father Amazia did. Mm. And he sought God in the days of Zachariah. Mm. Who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord. God made him to prosper. And he went forth and warred against the Philistines. And break down the wall of Gath. And the wall of Jabni. And the wall of Ashdod. And build cities about Ashdod. And among the Philistines. And God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians that dwelt in Gabal and the Melumums. And the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah and his name spread abroad even to the entering in of Egypt for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Moreover, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall and fortified them. Also, he built towers in the desert and digged many wells for he had much cattle both in the low country and in the plains. Husbandmen also 
Simba. And vine dressers in the mountains. And in Camel. For he loved the husbandry. May the grace that God gave to Uzia be your grace today. I see. I see. Hey. He was 16 years when he became king. God helped him early. The man became a king. I say the boy, the teenager became a king. May God help you early. Amen. Hey, the grace in the house is the grace of being helped early. Amen. It's the grace of destroying the spirit of delay. And it's a grace that's, that will make you make it early in your calling. Amen. Amen. In one year, by the help of God, you will do things that are supposed to be done in 30 years. I see. I see. When God is speaking, my son, people don't hear. Today, God is giving you grace I to do exploits. Yes, and in one year, which means next year by this time, when you look back at your achievements, yes, there will be achievements that can only be done by a man in 30 years. Oh, yes. God is able to do that. I receive. 16 years was Uzziah when he became king. 16 years was Uzia when he became king. He didn't wait to be an old man to become a king. He became king when he was still a young boy who can enjoy money. It is a curse for you to have money at an old age when you can no longer enjoy money. That is a curse. Make money now when you are still young. When you can go out with your wife and enjoy money. I receive. That is not a blessing. That is a cash. But we want the blessing to answer oh, yes. so that you can enjoy money now. I receive. This time around. We want the bore in the game this time around. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying in the house? Yes, oh, oh, yes. May the holy angels help you. Amen. So that you can have what will make you great when you are still young. Oh, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May God help you. May God help you. May God help you. While at least you are still young, may your helpers come oh, yes. and may your destiny answer Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. He was 16 years. 
Why even my core gumi na matana? When he became king, paaka tanga kuba mambo. Which means it is possible. Kore wa kuti zino goneka for God to help you early. Kuti mwari akubati lo shiri muduko. Zino goneka. Zino goneka. May God help you today. Amen. to achieve your dreams, your goals while at least you are still young. Amen. Amen. God is helping you, I know. I know, I know, I know. I can see that your heart your heart is in agreement with this word because I am sent to you. How come some people delay and others get their help early. Because it's not just supposed to be a declaration and people say amen and they don't know what to do after that. But it is supposed to be a because you have discovered God's purpose early. Help is going to delay. As long as you have not discovered God's purpose. Mm-hmm. The Bible says that Uzziah at that age was doing what was right before God. Uzziah as a king at that age he was working under the ministry of his men of God, the prophet. And the Bible says, as long as Uzziah did what was right before God, God prospered him. And as long as he sought the Lord, as long as Uzziah sought the Lord, uh uh-huh, God made him to prosper. God made him to prosper. Discover your assignment in the house of God and get into it early. Begin to serve God early. Don't delay. Because if you delay, you are delaying God's help towards you. Say, discover your purpose early. Discover it today. Hold your neighbor and tell them and don't delay. Don't delay. Hear the voice of God and walk in the light of that voice right Right now. Don't delay. So as long he he, he, he was he was Uzziah was under Zekaria. Zekaria. And as long as he was serving Zachariah, God blessed him. Listen to this. 
as long as Uzziah was humble to save Zachariah. Apo Uzia akaramba kazunini pisa tishumira ari paspezo kaza Zakaria. God sent all the help Uzia desired. Mwariva katumira rubati rose rwaidi ona Uzia. And he was an unchallenged king for how many years? Fifty-two. Fifty-two years. Nobody was opposing him for fifty-two years. Because he was a man marvelously helped of God. It is in the same It's because when God helps you, men will also be glad to help you. <laughs> Your helper is coming today in the name of Jesus. Oh, I receive. Yes. I want all of you to know that they've come today. I want you to know that your place is here. That's where your place is. I prayed. I prayed for you. You did not just come. I prayed for you to come. And your place, that this is your place. Begin to discover now what you should do in the house of God. And the God will marvelously help you. Oh, yes. The number of years is the number of years. That's why I have met the number to come. We say ano we apano nash gakunge arimana ane grace jacket zirimuno zirimumba ino. Oh yes. To all those that have come, I have prayed for them so that they may be saved. You have not come, but you have been caused because to come Nyasha, to this place. You have been driven to your place of grace. And you are going to see, after I am done with you, how things are going to change for your good starting today. Oh, yes. Next week, week by Sunday, you are coming with a marvelous, a great testimony. Yes, sir. Because Christ is here to help you today. Amen. And I can assure you, there is no problem that is in the house today. That is above the grace of this altar. Yes. Uh, uh, there is no problem that you are facing today that is above the grace of this altar. You have come because your grace is here. Your calling is here. The anointing for your destiny is here. Yes, sir. And this grace will not fail you. Oh, oh yes. yes. I say this grace will not fail you. Yes, this anointing will not fail you. Yes, Things have been measured before you come. And you came. Wawia. Because the anointing and the grace for your destiny is in this place. Amen. So, so sit down. So, I want you to see why things happened so fast. Oh, Kuna uzia. Because he discovered his purpose earlier. Last week I told you that when you discover your purpose and you know 
you begin to do those things that God has called you to do. You will not look for help, but help will look for you. So Uziah discovered that I am a king. I have money. But God made me a king because of Zechariah ministry. I want you to catch this. So, he was a king that was in the house of God. And as long as he served God under Zechariah, I don't know what exactly he was doing, to the ministry of Zechariah. But whatever he was doing, that was the thing that made God to help Uziah. The thing that made God to help Uziah was because Uziah was willing and obedient to do what he is supposed to do to the man of God. Zechariah. This is scripture you will see if you read, if you read, if you read verse, is it verse 16? When, when Uziah was now marvelously helped. He was winning against his enemies. He was conquering and going about winning every war. And the help was coming from everywhere. The man became so rich that he built a city in the desert. Ah. He built a city in the desert. Sir. He was winning wars. Why couldn't I wonder? Nobody would come against Uziah and win. He was Kunda. a conqueror. Aiva and the reason he won all his wars was because God was helping Uziah. And the reason God was helping Uzziah was because Uzziah was helping the prophet. Uzziah was one of the sons of the prophet. So every time Uzziah would help the ministry of the prophet, God would supply his need. God would replenish him. God would replenish him. As he was replenished, he was also given to the prophet. And God seeing Uzziah helping the prophet, he made him very prosperous. He he became very rich. He became very powerful. All his enemies he conquered. From today, as you make up your mind to save in the house of God, you are going to defeat all your enemies. Amen. I say you are going to defeat all your enemies. Amen. I don't know what kind of enemies are coming against you. Whether they are spiritual enemies, whether they are financial enemies, whether they are marital enemies, whether they are enemies at your workplace, you are going to conquer them. Amen. You are going to defeat them. I receive. Whether they, these enemies are coming in form of sickness, you will conquer that sickness today. I receive. You are going out of this 
Jesus without any pain in your body. Are you getting what I'm saying in the house? Money you did not work for will come to you. I, I say doors are going to open on their own accord when you come. I receive. I receive. I say change that had bound your entire family. They are falling on their own accord this afternoon. Amen. Things that have never been experienced in your family. You are the one who will pioneer the experience of those things. Oh, yes. What has never been seen or heard in your own generation, in your own lineage, in your own home, oh, yes. you will be the one to start doing it. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. That it can come back when you kusina and boita marry in one equa irgutanga newe. Amen. If your amen is louder, God will send help to yes. you. Amen. If your amen is louder, God is sending help to you. Amen. amen. Special grace, special anointing, special grace, a sound mind, and an excellent spirit. Go and excel. May God send you help. I receive. We win in this life because God has helped us. Sit down. We win in this life because God has sent help us. It is God who makes people great. So Uzia became great because he was connected to the man of God. He was ministering to the man of God. And as long as he feared God and was connected to the man of God and was supplying the man of God, God prospered him. God made him to defeat his enemies. Amen. God made him so rich that he even built a city in the desert. God is graduating you. You are moving from building houses to building shopping malls. Amen. Come on, receive it. You are moving from building houses to building shopping malls. A city shall be named after you. Amen. When God helps a man, so it is important for us to discover why did God help Uzziah like this? The scriptures are clear about it. He was an obedient child. Now he became so great, so rich, and one day, I think it was a demonic visitation. The Bible said that his heart became proud. But, but when, when he was strong, but when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. His heart was lifted up to his destruction. Let me give you good counsel. So many of you, this grace, 
it is going to lift you. I receive. Let me when you, you begin to discover ah, changes, because you are going to see changes this week. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. When you begin to discover these changes, I used to struggle so much just to get 1,000. Now I just go out empty handed, I come in loaded. Amen. I received that. Take note of such changes. Take note of such changes. Mark them. Why were they not happening before you heard this sermon? Why are they beginning to happen after this sermon? It is because your heart has received God's grace to help and God has begun his work of helping you. Learn to return with thanksgiving to the Lord for what he has done to you. You had no customers. But after this teaching, customers are going to be open. They will come like flood oh, to you. Yes. You begin to receive phone calls that are going to transform your financial status. Amen. When that happens, when that happens, take note of that and return with thanksgiving to the Lord. I don't know whether people are hearing me right now. Your husband used to be very harsh. But from this service, whether Aripanoka or Kumba, there's gonna be that love that is so strange oh, yes. that is going to be given to you. Yes, sir. But Take note of that. Oh yes. Take note of that. Oh yes. Take note of that. Oh yes. What is happening now? What is happening? Oh yes. Vamo mi zokera kumbai papa papa wasi am murume wako asipo ujisika uchawa na bedroom ya zara ne maruwa matsuku. Take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of it. You are going to get home and you find the whole bedroom having been flowered with red roses. Many of you will have surprises after this sermon. I because receive. as I am preaching, helpers are being released. Helpers are being released. Helpers are coming. The anointing and the grace is bringing your helpers. I receive. When you discover those small positive developments, be quick to return with praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. Many of you, you will have strange money coming to you this week. I receive. Do you know why? Do you know why it will happen? It's just a sign. It's just a what? A sign. I saw God healing somebody's car. Prophesy. You can do it, my father. A car that was giving you lots of problems. Motor and car I saw you in that car. 
A vehicle is giving you problems. And God, I saw God last night healing a car. A car. Zuro mauronda kwa na muare achipore sa motor. I'm not lying to you. There is somebody here. We have got a car that is giving him problems. Uchi vapano, uchi suka, uchi sa kie inotaka kumuka zuno zuno taka kufam. Amen. Zuno zuka taka kufam pa. Because I saw it last night. I saw it last night. I woke up to be surprised. Ah, can demons affect a car? Matimona no go na kushunguru tsa umoto kari. And from today, you will not have any problem with the cars. Oh yes. Bana sa usku sweita dambuti kone moto kari. That spirit that was destroying cars is removed. I know you are surprised by this. I was also surprised when I saw it. In the name of Jesus. That thing that was destroying things in your life. It is taken out. So what am I saying? When you begin to notice these positive things. The whole week, this week, Vicky Rose, you will not even be sick. Amen. But you are somebody that was always sick. But starting today, sickness will be removed. Amen. You will never experience any pain in your body. Oh, yes. Because a healing helper is released to go with you. Amen. Notice those things. Write them down. Don't be like the daughters of Jethro. Who get help and they don't bring the men that helped them home. Notice those developments. You will see them today. Throughout this week, uncommon favor will come to you. Your boss who was so angry with you, who was contemplating you to dethrone you, to, to demote you, all of a sudden, they will change and they are going to have a very loving attitude towards you. It's not normal. It's God helping you prolong your days in that job. Amen. I have brought blessings to you. I have brought blessings to you. I, I have receive. come to connect you with your helpers. I receive. People that are going to appreciate you. I receive. From here, the dress of evil and an evil garment is taken out of your life. Amen. And a royal garment is coming upon you today. Those that rejected you, they'll begin to accept you. Those that never wanted to see you again, they will call you to help you. Amen. The witch that didn't want it, you did is the one who is going to give the most gift in your wedding. Congratulations. Makorokoto. Congratulations. Makorokoto. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So when you discover, ah, I became king at 16. This can be God. I have fought against my enemies and I have conquered. This is God. I was admitted with people who have got asthma. 
And I came out of it. Others died. This is God. And God is saying for me to minister to somebody, to somebody who have got shortness of breath. God is blessing you and you begin to breathe normally, you begin to breathe well and you will not die in the name of Jesus. I mix the healing in your healing in your body, healing in your body. You will not die. You will not die. Your helper, your helper, your helper is touching you now and things will go well with you. Yes, I saw somebody with shortness of breath. You are not breathing very well. You come, 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 if you are the one. Come. In the name of Jesus. Healing for you. Grace. 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 Grace for your healing and your deliverance. Grace for your healing and your deliverance. Grace for your healing and your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. So when you notice that God has given you grace and now you are able to do those things that you were not able to do. Don't keep quiet about it. Don't keep quiet about it. That's just a sign of greater things to come. And when you testify about it, God then open you to your destiny. Many people they don't go far because the smallest thing that God has done they ignore it. They ignore it. They don't give glory to God for it. Such kind of people, even if God would do big things, they are not going to acknowledge that it is God. They will say, it's me. The Bible says that Uzziah's heart was lifted for his destruction. Many of you, God has done so great things with you. You nearly died, God delivered you. And you are quiet. You were so broke. Nothing was working. These days you can afford to build a house and you don't give glory to God for that. You bought a car. You you and you don't give glory to God for that. Do you know why you are not giving glory to God? Pride has crept into your heart. You are saying I'm big. I Be big to men, but when it comes to God, be very small like a baby. You know where you come from. 
You know it. Especially some of you that came from the rural areas like me. Who do you want to think about riching? But you know where God has taken you. Humble yourself. And give him glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, here is the conclusion of the matter. When Uzziah became proud, he was struck with leprous. The prophet came to him. Uzia, change, Shandura. humble yourself. And Uzia lifted his heart even higher. Uzia and Ropaka Mutsiriza, Moyoake, Kupfura, and the Bible so says easy. that he died in that leprous. Pay Perino Farati, Waka, Fa, Muma Perimbuzi, Yao. If you desire amazing help from God, my brother, my sister, discover your place in the kingdom of God. And work hard until God is pleased with you. When God become pleased with you, help will come without you asking for it. Don't ever oppose God. No matter how God blesses you, never sit down one day and say this thing that I'm doing in church I'm stopping it. The moment you stop saving in the house of God you begin to go down. It might not happen immediately like uh, tomorrow you see yourself going down. But in the realm of the spirit you began to go down. Don't ever oppose God. No matter, no matter how people disappoint you, no matter how people, don't ever become angry with men to the extent of venting your anger in cutting your service to God. I'm just trying to help you. Don't ever make a mistake of opposing God the whole of your life. No matter what happens to you. Because your help from God is provoked by your service. And your falling in life as a child of God comes when you begin to stop your service to God. Or going the wrong direction from where God wants the vision to go. Right now, it's, we are in a season of evangelism and soul winning. Make sure that you are doing your part so that God can help you. Let me tell you this. Listen to me. I am sent from God to help you. 
no matter who is influencing you against God right now, whether they are spirits or human beings, they will not be there with you in the day of judgment. You will be alone. Can you please cut off friends that incite you against the God? You that is coming right now as newcomers. That God is bringing to his kingdom. Notice those that are passionate about the vision. And join them. Help from God is provoked by your commitment in serving God. So before you think of who is going to help me, think of how I should help in the house of God. And as you help, God will send helpers to replenish you. The energy that you use in your service to God will be surely replenished and that good measure pressed down, shaken together and running over. Uye simbara waka isa mkubatsira ni kushumira mwari. Richa isi kwa ho, raka pet kwa kana ni kazana kuzobatsira iwe. God does not prosper you for nothing, sir. Mwari ya angu kufumi se pasina. He prospers you primarily for his kingdom. Uno kufumi sa choku tanga kumambo wake. So that through what God has given you, kingdom light can go to a better level of serving God. Kingdom light when it delivered them from Egypt, when it delivered them from Egypt, God says, I'll give these people favor. So that when they go out, they don't go empty-handed. And why did God give them gold? He said, so that they might serve me. So that they might have what to serve me with in the wilderness. And when they got to the wilderness and they didn't use the, the gold that God has given them to, to serve God, they, 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 they made a golden calf. God was angry with them. He smote them. Many of them died in the wilderness. If your money is not serving God, it will end up killing you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you getting some light? Yes. Are you getting some understanding? Amen. Look at Jonah. Jonah. Jonah was called by God. Jonah to go preach in Nineveh. Jonah went 
the different direction. Jonah waka vawaenda kwe msoro wake. The Bible said that they went down to Tashish. Zino nzine baibiru waka enda uchitika nyasi kwe Tashish. Went down to the ship. Ndo vahapi nda mumu kwa. Pay the fare. Ndo kupadara mchikepe. To go the opposite direction. Kuti aende uko kwa anga asina kutungwa na mwari. When he decided to go the opposite direction. Paaka itasaruzo yu kuyenda kuno poka na mwari. The winds opposed him. Mepo yaka mpiki sao. There was a storm in the sea. Waka wene duture mepo mungungwa. Because he was going in the different direction from what God has purposed him to go. Nekuti waenda kuni nzira iyo ya ipoka na nzira ya ipoka. Every time you go in a different direction. Guwe tosi pa unu enda kuni nzira ino poka na. There is no way you can escape opposing boisterous winds against you. Hakuna nzira ya unga njenga mando nendu tizeme po tinosimuka tipoka na niwe. He ended up being thrown into the sea. Waka petisera waku kandirwa. Swallowed by a well. And he was in the belly of the well for three days and three nights. He repented in the belly of the well. When he repented, the well was commanded by God. Wove yagara iwa na mwari. To carry Jonah and vomit him on the shores of Nineveh. Kuti itakure Jonah ino muru tzira uko kuma ombo kombe. The place of his assignment. Kunjimbo yechi na mwa chake. And when he got to the place of his assignment. Paano shika kunjimbo yechi na mwa chake. He preached one sentence. Waka paisa mtara mwe chete. And the whole Nineveh repented. One message. One sentence message. And it affected the whole Nineveh. Not only men, but even animals fasted and repented. Because what he was doing was commanded of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I see God sending you helpers. I receive. I receive. God is sending you helpers. May God send you helpers. Amen. Men who are going to refresh you and help you. Amen. May you not lack any good thing as you serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. I receive. May there be no lack nor shortage Amen. in your life as you serve God. Amen. May help us come. Amen. Amen. May your helper call you today. Oh, yes. And may a door be open for you today. Amen. May you rise and never go down. Amen. But may God protect your heart from pride. May God save you from the spirit of pride. May God save you from the spirit of competition with others. 
May God deliver you from people so that you can serve him well. May you be able to see God and follow him and never be influenced by the negative attitudes of others against God. May God give you the wisdom to serve him with your substance. Amen. May God give you a heart that will be glad to serve him. May you see your success in how you have made the work of God successful. Amen. Unless you discover your purpose, your God purpose, and you commit yourself in that purpose. You might see very little in life. Begin to arise. Tanga kusimuka. And be a son and a daughter. Amen. That God will testify of. He said about Jesus, this is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. Oh, how I pray. That such kind of a testimony from God will be your testimony. Amen. That God will say, you are my beloved son. Amen. In whom I am well pleased. Amen. I don't know how you would want to live your life up to the day you depart from this earth. And it's even good to know that we're not paying you. I go say you could finance or push government to buy your own tour. We could pay any guy. But you want people to speak well about you. Could even what you are saying? Can I come and get away? And God's testimony about you is not a good one. Or you'd rather have God speak well about you because of what you are doing in His kingdom. All these things that we pursue in this life, God is able to bring them to us without us having to sweat for them. If God is pleased with us. I want you to go home right now thinking about this. Right now, some of you, you are 40. Look back what you have done. Does it give God glory? And if it doesn't, why don't you change? for the better and say from today I make up my mind to live my life 
in such a way that God will be pleased with me. Money is good. But money is not life. It is not everything. Especially money that you don't use to serve God with. It's dead money. Tell your neighbor. Money is good. But the one that you are not using for the purpose of serving God. Is dead money. Let God testify about you. How he gave you money. And how you used it. For the kingdom of God. May God deliver us from the spirit of selfishness. May our daughters are Jetro. The daughters of Jetro. We go to Unobatirwa. Wepa, you get help. And you leave the helper. No wonder they delayed in life. No wonder they delayed. Today, think of those that have helped you. Those that brought you where you are right now. Think about them. If you don't have anything to give the, to them, but at least call them and say, thank you. You contributed so much in my life. Because the way you are clapping hands, it shows that you have missed something that is very vital in this sermon. Do you know that you are where you are right now because somebody helped you? Even your husband for you to be seated next to your husband, if I had not I preached the gospel, was. you might have not been married to this good-looking young man. Even friend, but this is your friend. But you have met in church. Now we are gossiping about you and yet you met in church. It's me that has made you guys to meet. I'm the one who have made you to sit next to another. Tomorrow. But I'm the one who made you to sit next Check the one who has helped you to be where you are now. Can I see now? So, 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 that's a spirit that God can promote to a higher level. Lot God blessed four 
walking with Abraham or following Abraham. And they became as rich as Abraham. And there was a noise between Lord's servant and Abraham's servant. And Abraham said, we are brethren. Abraham, we, we don't have to fight. Choose the direction you will go. If you go to the north, I'll go to the south. If you go to the south, you go. He says, choose. And the Bible says, instead of Lord to go to the seventh, hey, I am rich now because of this man. I was not like this when I began to follow him. It is the grace of Abraham that has made me reach the way I am now. Lord forgot about it. I want to show you how people lose it in life. He was proud. Looked at the well-watered gardens of Jordan. Carried his wife and his livestock. To that direction of green pastures. In his heart, in his heart, he was saying, I want to show Abraham that I can make it without him. I want to come back to show him that I can do it. And what happened? He fell in the hands of sinners, Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't be quick to move from a place you acquired some things when you are in that place. I don't know how can I make this sink into your mind. Don't be too quick. Start by checking. What is it that I didn't have that I now have? ever since I came to this place. And may that be a good counsel. Because the moment you move, things know why they have come to you. They might have come to you as Uza because of Zechariah. And the moment you move from Zachariah, those things also begin to depart from you. Because they were never attracted by your grace. It was Zachariah's grace that attracted those things. <laughs> And they've come to make you comfortable in serving. Go and take your old photos. And then look at yourself. And begin to check yourself. Before you blame Pastor Mlea, I don't know anything here, Pastor Mlea, I shan't. Shimbo enda imuno stories. Right now, the anointing is so cleansed to you. When people look at you, they say, what an angel. And you forget. When you forget. it dense of disorder. That was the kind of spirit that was on you. And I remember God developing you. And the other day I approached you and said, Rembo, you are no longer dancing that. I said, ah, 
Glory. Saka, this anointing disciplined you. It got a lot of prorido out of you. So, until a gentleman like Patrick saw something good about you. Some of you, you are not being seen. You are not being seen. It's only that sometimes people, because of we have got high desires, we don't have time to count our blessings. Because our mind is thinking of that new car which is one million. And we are going to go out and get a million. We are going to go out and get a million. You. Hey, hey. Wange wanza noku misa chipi pipi pa 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 roda. You used to go by the church. Now you, you, you are saying, no, this one, no, no, not this one. Because, you know, Aosha Pampe ni mshika shika. Dile? What is the work of a guy? Dile, you know, they all do not get it. How? Dile, you know, they all do not get it. How? Dile, you know, they all do not get it. Same family. Because, you know, I'm popular, they manji manji. Messi, Messi, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm 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 going to go to the house. I just need to go to the house. Satan had to sing and then marry. The devil does not want you to meet with your money you, or your brethren. Satan, the devil. A banamu na no pi wa marry arumu na wa marry. O pi wa marry na Satan. You can never. You can never be fake. given money from the devil when you are a child of God. You can never be fake. Child but if of you God. are genuinely a child of God, but if you are a genuine child Satan of God, Satan does not want money to come into your hand. If you see it coming, it's God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, identify your place in the house of God. All of you that have come today here, before you think of what God should give to you, think of what, of how you can serve him. Tanga kufunga isu so honga mbatira nasu. Think of how you can serve him. Tanga kufunga kutunga mushumira say. And nese murukundi nzwapa no nasu. All of you that are listening to me today. I've told you. Daka kuhutai. You have not come here by mistake. Amuna kuhunzu wapano. You have come here because God brought you here. Mawia pano ne maka yekuti mwari wa kuunza ipano. Chechi jipera pano. As the service ends today, come and ask. Uya ufunze. Pastor Prof, Pastor Ro, Pastor Kelebu. Mufundi si Prof, Mufundi si Ro, Mufundi si Kelebu. 
Pastor P here. Mufundisi P very pan. How can I serve? Jenga shumi na sayi. In the house of God. Muhimba ya mwai. And they will, uh, they, will, they will ask you. Asha kufunza. Unogo na kuita. Or else, have an appointment with me. Kana kutu unogo na kuwa. Nengu wa nini? Organize an appointment with me. Wogazi la oku sanga na nini? Pastor, I have come. Muna umari nda wea? I want to serve in the house of God. Tenda kushumira umimba ya mwari. And you'll be given a place where you can serve. Know that as long as I am committed to serving God, God will be committed to serving you. Your health in the kingdom of God. Your health is in the kingdom of God is directly connected to your service. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's where your help comes from. That's where your long life, Mama Zala, comes from. If you want long life, so that you can see your children's children, find your place of service. Be connected. And don't allow anybody or any spirit to take you away from the place that God has put you. Be personal in your service to God. Knowing that God will reward you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. Just keep it to your eyes. Very much so ago. God is standing before you. Mwari waka mira pambiri pako. It's you Jiwe. and the Lord. Jiwe na she. I want you to say, my heavenly father, now I understand that my life is for the glory of God. Help me, Lord, to serve you. Help me, my father, to be committed to your cause. That I will not waste any more days. And I will Pursuing the things of the world and ignoring you. I understand my father. That Jesus died for me. And the life that I now live. I live for him. 
that loved me Hii and died for me. Father, I thank you that my help is in service. I'm committing myself to serving you. Wherever I go, you are number one. You are my first priority. I thank you, my Father. I thank you. Jesus name. Let's rise up.